Hi, so obviously you guys have heard of Asian guy stereotypes, right? I mean like nerdy, emasculate, weird, stuff like that. But guess what? Japan also has stereotypes of people from different prefectures, so I'm gonna talk about this. So Tokyo stereotypes are cold, too proud, and fashionable. Well, I have to say these stereotypes pretty much apply to most capital cities around the world. So Tokyo is not that special in this regard. But one thing you should remember is that a lot of people from Tokyo are not actually from Tokyo. If you talk about the Tokyo area, 30% of the people are from somewhere else. And if you talk about young people like university students or people who work in Tokyo, the percentage gets even higher. It's kind of rare to meet somebody from Tokyo. So the truth is this, one is not born, but rather becomes a Tokyoite. Alright, Osaka stereotypes are funny, always huggling, and expressive. First and foremost, they say that Osakans are funny, or at least they always try to be. I mean, a lot of famous comedians are from Osaka, and their accent is also associated with comedy. And basically what they say is, when you are talking to people from Osaka, you are always expected to have a punchline. Well, I think this stereotype is somewhat true, but several people from Osaka had said to me that, you know, it's not as intense as the rest of Japan think. Oh, one more thing. I've also heard that people from Osaka are very friendly and approachable. You know, my friends who had lived in Osaka had said that to me. And when I went to Osaka, I had the same impression. Kyoto. So the stereotypes are cunning, exclusive, and insincere. There's a famous anecdote about Kyoto. Alright, let's say you live in Kyoto and you visit your friend from Kyoto. You are talking to him and it's getting late. And he says, So, would you like to have some ochazuke? Well, ochazuke, by the way, is a kind of rice porridge. But what do you think he means by that? Well, it means that it's time for you to leave. You see this subtlety, right? Well, this story is not necessarily true, but it shows how we think of Kyoto white people who can be quite indirect and high context. But the truth is, Kyoto used to be the capital of Japan, so it's far more historical than Tokyo. So people can be quite traditional, and you know, they might have a lot of hidden rules and customs. Anyway, I've worked with several people from Kyoto, and they were completely fine. So, Hiroshima. The stereotypes are hot-tempered and bosozoku, which are motorcycle gangs. I've got a lot to say about Hiroshima because basically I grew up there. But I'm not sure why they say people from Hiroshima are hot-tempered. Most people I knew in Hiroshima were quite calm and mild and soft and whatever. Anyway, as for Bosozoku, it's not just a stereotype. In 1999, there was a major clash between the gang members and the police and the media covered it all over the country. So this might be where this image came from. But fortunately, it's getting better lately. Alright, Okinawa. Cheerful, late, and healthy. Again, I think this is more or less what we think of people from small islands. But there's one more interesting stereotype about men in Okinawa. They cheat a lot. Do you think it's true? Well, I happen to have very interesting infidelity statistics by Japanese prefecture, so let's see. So Okinawa's place is 21st out of 47. The stereotype is not true. Oh, by the way, according to this data, Tokyoite people cheat much much more. Tokyo's in 5th place. Alright, Nagoya. Flamboyant, greedy, and aggressive drivers. Alright, Nagoya is a city, not a prefecture, but I wanted to include this because some of my friends have studied there and they are also YouTubers from Nagoya. As you can see, Nagoya has a very bad reputation, but I don't know why. I mean, 
I have relatives living there, and they are completely okay. And also, people from Nagoya I've met were very nice, so I don't think that's very true. Guys from Kyushu, so they are macho, stubborn, and warm hearted. Again, Kyushu is not a prefecture, it's a big island consisting of eight prefectures. And the guys from this region are said to be very strong and macho. Well, I don't really know whether it's true or not, but I think it has something to do with its samurai tradition. People say samurai from this region were quite formidable. Another interesting fact is that guys from this region tend to get married earlier than guys from other regions, but they also get divorced more. Alright, so these are stereotypes, but in my opinion, Japan is Japan. We are actually very similar people. I mean, here, virtually everybody speaks Japanese as their first language. And there are plenty of countries where people speak different languages, for example. But Japan is a very homogeneous country, and I think that's why people tend to exaggerate tiny differences. Alright, if you guys know any other stereotypes, please let me know in the comment section. So the video was about how I begged in Yokohama, and Susan said, Sounds like something I would do. Books are always worth it. Yeah, you know, I love books and I always buy books. But the problem is, I live in my small Japanese room, so I always run out of spaces. I think I have sold most of the books I've ever bought. You know, I always go to Book Off, which is like a big Japanese used book chain. Anyway, I started using Kindle four or five years ago, and that's just amazing because ebooks doesn't take any space, so I can buy as many books as I want, and I get to keep all of them. By the way, if you want to sell your books in Japan, Book Off is not the best option because they buy your books dirt cheap. You can probably get double or triple amount of money if you take your book to a proper used bookshop. Next, Holy Gyoza says, I was once buying stuff for my art school a few years ago, and I thought I had enough money with me, but there were like 10 or 20 cents that I still needed. So I was excusing me that I'm sorry, I don't know what to do, but finally the cashier had mercy and paid the rest for me. I love this story. Don't you just love it when somebody is genuinely nice with you even though they don't get anything for return? Those people make me happy. And I'm thrilled said Nekomimi. So the Nekomimi is the cat ears I was wearing in the video. And I have some story about this cat ears. It was four years ago maybe? My friend gave them to me because I didn't have anything to put on for Halloween and I really liked them so I kept them ever since. Alright, see you guys later. Sayonara!